Hey, good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm gonna just do a couple of application tips and tricks today, and I thought I would hop on here um, and share those. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, but gosh, I'm in Colorado. Hold on. Look at all that snow out my window. There's all kinds of snow today. So, given that, because there is snow, I decided I would wear kind of a fall outfit because I'm kind of feeling like fall. Um, so I have on these really great leggings um, from LuLaRoe and this shirt from LuLaRoe and then a jean jacket um, and then some boots. So, hi Trisha. I was just talking about my outfit because you should see out my window. Hold on. It's snowing and it's heavy heavy snow like crazy heavy snow so um, I went with sort of earth tones today I was feeling kind of earth tone ish um, so a couple things that are new that I haven't used um, before today so I've had this shadow sense for a while it's called lemon quartz if you can see it it's pretty darn yellow um, and so in the tube it looks very scary but I used it all over my lid and then I put garnet in the crease and then I put a little bit more up by my brow bone and I don't know the lighting's not great but um, not nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be um, if you're kind of a warm based or neutral based skin tone um, this this is not as scary as it looks I really actually like it it's kind of this warm earthy tone um, but it's called lemon quartz we are actually sold out of it and it's been discontinued but I have one in stock so if you want to give it a try let me know um, our shadow senses are all um, cream to powder so you just dab a little bit on and you can either use your finger or you could use a brush to sort of blend it in but it's just wonderful and then in my crease I put garnet um, so really I only used two colors today I used lemon quartz and garnet and then I did use I guess candlelight underneath my eyes just to to take away some some dark lines so um, so today I thought what I would show you is hard to apply colors so you're gonna if you purchase lip sense <clears throat> you purchase several different colors which it's really hard to just purchase one um, it escalates quickly trust me um, you will find a color that just doesn't apply on you like the rest of the colors um, for one reason or another and it typically is not the same color for every person so for me raisin is that color um, raisin is very very sheer um, and it is a it's a shimmer I think I'd have to look but um, hi Taylor um, it is a, a very very sheer color and so it can be really difficult to apply so one little tip I have for you is to apply a matte shade underneath it so <clears throat> some good matte shades are first love Bella um, hazelnut some of those types of praline rose are really good matte shades to put underneath um, hi Melanie so if you have that really really difficult color if you can apply a matte shade underneath it can help sort of keep that even and for me that's raisin it's different for everyone I've had people say that berries like that for them oops I want to shake in the wrong one um, berry raisin what else sometimes strawberry shortcake causes people problems um, but it's different for everybody but if you can apply a matte shade underneath sometimes it makes all the difference so I'm gonna apply this hazelnut right now like I said hazelnut first love Bella praline rose um, and I find that hazelnut because it is a matte shade it's very very thick so <clears throat> often I have to let it dry extra time and I use very very little product because it otherwise it'll never dry and it gets real icky so I wipe most of it off the wand and then I mean you can see immediately how pigmented that is now hazelnut is another color it came out in the fall it's part of the Tuscany series 
and it's no longer sold that I do have I think one in stock so you can see how matte shade that is um, let me put it on my hand you can see it even more it's very very thick you can tell that too when you take it out of the tube so that's hazelnut and you can tell it's just a very pigmented color so you're going to do very thin layers and then you're going to let it dry an extra amount of time because it takes a bit and then i also to make sure it's totally dry i do that make sure none comes off um, and then i'm going to go to raisin so <clears throat> for some reason raisin just doesn't stick for me matter of fact if i just do raisin regularly it will not stick to this spot on my lip um, but when i do it with hazelnut it's a little bit better so i'm just giving this plenty of time to dry so again raisin is very very sheer and I have these in stock as well so I sort of wipe off the tip and there's one layer and I can't tell you how much better it goes on the two colors I have the most problem with are raisin and berry berries really streaky for me too um, but again if I do a matte shade I'm okay and there's two uh, my third coat two raisin <clears throat> so that's all there is to it so if you run into a color that's difficult, start with a matte shade as your first layer and then go to two layers of the other shade. The other bottom shade you can use that's really good is Icicle. Icicles are clear lip scents and sometimes that is a good base coat too for people um, for difficult colors for them. So looks to be dry. So I've got gloss here. Um, so another tip for glosses. <clears throat> we have a lot of glosses and I have several of these in stock. I don't have all of them. Um, but our glosses have shea butter and vitamin E. So when you apply them, it goes through the color and nourishes your lips. It's the most moisturizing. Our glossy gloss is the most moisturizing. And so I tell people, even if you're gonna wear another type of gloss to put glossy on first because that's going to nourish your lips once you start using our other glosses um, they have more mica in them and mica is a mineral and it will break down your color faster so um, <clears throat> if you're going to wear one of our specialty glosses i always tell people put a layer of glossy first and then put your specialty layer over the top so this is gold glitter it's um a really nice glitter color and I just put that right over my glossy and now it'll protect my color you don't have to do this but this is just my recommendation um, so that's gold glitter um, we have some others too but let me show you what I have in stock because I hate to show you stuff you can't have um, my favorite gloss is this one right here Bogan Vila gloss I have that in stock and then the other one that love people love if you love a matte shade the matte gloss is wonderful but again the matte has this very different texture to it it's like a um, like more like a gel it's different um, I don't like the texture of it actually but people love it so what I do again is I put on my glossy gloss and then I put the matte over the top and that gives me a matte look um, the matte is the least moisturizing that we have so if you have really really dry lips you definitely want to apply the glossy first and then matte over the top. Some people are good to go with just the matte. <clears throat> and probably in the summer, I'd be okay um, to do that. Uh, so those are the two that I really, really love that are in stock. We have some others. We have orchid, we have sand, we have silver glitter. Those are no longer, those are not in stock right now. Um, and I don't think I have any. I do have a pink glitter gloss, um, which is really pretty but um, I don't have the others so I hesitate to show those to you because then I just make you want things you can't have so seems like not very nice of me <clears throat> so 
So really, that's all there is to it. Um, hopefully these tips, as I sort of put all these away, hopefully those tips are helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm wrapping up Melanie's um, party this morning, so if there's anything you want to order, just let me know, and I'll take care of that for you. And again, it's snowing here in Colorado, so I was feeling sort of fallish today. Um, but I hope you have a great day, and we will talk soon.